Here comes the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. The son of a plumber is ready to get to work. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Austin, Texas. Weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. In the history of the world, there have been two bad people. One was John Wayne, and he ain't around, but the other is right here in the ring. Here comes the excellence of execution. Gentlemen, the pink and black attack is here. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hitman Hart. This is a man who's fought and crawled his way to the top. Bret Hart has proven he can put anyone in their place and he has no problem doing it. Make no illusions about it. Brett is the hitman for a reason. Cold, methodical, precise, as tactical and technical as they come. This is the man who has really brought pride and prestige to the Intercontinental Championship, but he's not content with that being his ceiling. This guy really is the limit for the hitman, and the WWE Universe knows that. Every time Bret Hart steps into the ring, he represents quite the family legacy. The Hearts are a dynasty defined by their natural abilities and incredible success. Much of that success came at Brett's own hands, but he'd be the first to say it all goes back to his training at the Hart Family Dungeon. In-ring mastery passed down from generation to generation. Brett's ready to show that no one can measure up to his hard-earned talents. And on the flip side is Dusty Rhodes. Whether he's in the ring or holding a microphone, Dusty is truly captivating. He has a special gift for connecting with the WWE Universe. And that connection gives Dusty a whole lot of motivation and power inside the ring. Rhodes does it all for the love of the fans. They're the reason he became such a big star. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. He's taking this to the floor now. Hitman has him in his grasp. Lights out, DDT connects. Excellent execution from Hitman. Dusty has not seen the situation accurately. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Solid results on that one for Hitman. The Hitman looking to really get this one going now. Squeeze that shoulder out so close. Dusty Rhodes just likes to fight, especially with that powerful elbow. How does he put his skills to work in this match, Corey? Well, Dusty's rarely the strongest, fastest, or most technical superstar in the ring, but Rhodes has never let that keep him down for long and often uses that as he can do it here. And he gets the shoulder up before two. A little closer to getting the pinfall there. Play and possum! Shoulders down! And easily kicks out of the count. He is still very much in this. Hitman never saw that coming. Measured up and fist drop. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Brent found himself in the wrong place there. Yeah, as Dusty appeared to be in the zone on that one. Brett is not finding a way to gain the edge. Dusty Rhodes rising to the occasion here and is really starting to roll. Oh, Rhodes counters. Back body draw. You see the height on that? He reverses it. 
Brett showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Good chance for Brett to gain his wits about him. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. And Hitman getting caught by an effective bit of offense that time. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Stiff elbow will break that up. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hold. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sharp elbows. And a hit toss to escape. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. And this one might be headed ringside. Yeah. Whipped over in a snap suplex. what you want to see good sportsmanship after a competitive what the seriously seriously what a shame The referee starting the match up. Oh, oh and that's oh, one with Big Go. And the referee's down already. The match just started. That fist the cuffs from the opening bell. This thing's gonna get ugly. Someone's gonna get seriously hurt if this continues like this. These two are going to tear each other apart. And I love it. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. When you have the skill, you flaunt it and you make it hurt, too. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex! Standing moonsault! Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Able to get the advantage here. Granted, Eric is a true powerhouse in the ring, but how can the Viking ensure victory here in this match? Eric might look like a superstar who just charges blindly into battle, but he's actually got a good head on his shoulders. He's been competing since the early 2000s. Uh, got you, Byron. Uh. This one is headed outside, guys. Big forearm. Implanted by the DDT. Oh. 
Getting back into the ring. Stop. Into a backbreaker. And that has to bring Eric down a peg. Oh, he's been waiting for it the whole time. He's able to kick out before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. What a knee. Ooh, spent all the impact brought to the knee. Wow, what a spine buster. Down they go. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Really just laying it in. Eric's able to dodge that. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef. Belly to back suplex. No! Belly to back penalty kick by Eric. No doubt Eric ended this. Here is your winner, Eric. Well, you can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. Look, sometimes you do what you have to do to win, and in this case, it paid off. I have no idea how you can call what they did winning, more like surviving. And considering what they did to survive, I don't see it as very fulfilling. Before this match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Yeah, maybe that's uh, asking maybe all too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. Yeah, it's clear there's a total lack of respect between these two. Bell sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. It takes real toughness to climb into the ring after taking a few hits. It shows how much this match means to everyone involved. Well, I don't think that's a choice they should have had to have made in the first place. It's totally unfair. It could dramatically affect the final outcome of this contest. Only time will tell. Now look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? He must have seen that coming. from the Hulkster. Oh! Boom! Boom! Hammer! And Sickle! He had it scouted. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Had it scouted. Elbow drop. Piercing. He is still one of the most dominant forces the WWE Universe has ever witnessed. Soaring! Whoa, look out! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like... Takedown, look at the cross face, it's cinched in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. And Rude saw it coming. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Whip back into the ring. Back elbow. Jeez. 
Did you see that? This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. And clearly stooping low with that attack. Ah, oh, scrape to the face to finish it off. Just disrespectful. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Up high. Misses. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? These two showing how well scouted they each are. Elbow drop. Piercing. Down to opponent, and a double axe handle smash. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Through with a kick. Here it comes. The glorious DDT. Will Rude take advantage? For sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. And there needs to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. We are seeing the will to win from these men. Not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands multiple times. It's been a seesaw battle at times. Oh, that opens the door for Hogan. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Oh, drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh my! <laughs> and uses the arm drag to reverse. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Such an underhanded tactic there. And this just goes to show you how confident Robert Roode must feel. That'll stop the count. This match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. He manages to escape it. The face of Robert has taken about all it can take.
Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Hogan's waiting, he's fixated. Able to reverse. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, the glorious Robert Roode. Man, I was really hoping they'd shut them up here. Credit where credit's due when it comes to the victory, but it seems their disrespectful ways will unfortunately remain intact. This is what I've been telling you and Saxton all along, Cole. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as you win. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier on. They won. In fact, it was that mindset that most likely drove them. Here is the originator of British Strong Style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills. Or his mustache. He's got a beard. It actually has a beard, Byron. Yeah, but the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it illegal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it, we are in for something special tonight. A Lucha Libre legend in the flesh. Has an undeniable legacy in sports entertainment. And his opponent, representing the LWO from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Hey, you blink and you might just miss Rey Mysterio. Moves like a jet during Mach 10. He is incredible to watch. Rey Mysterio starting things off. A true living legend in our business. And if I may say, rightfully so. Well, I'll forgive the bias in this case because you are 100% correct. The phrase fighting spirit was created for people like Rey Mysterio. He's never backed down from a fight, no matter the odds, and Ray often manages to surmount them anyway. His legend status is well earned. As the old saying goes, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. That brings us to Tyler Bate, a UK standout who is one of the top stars in this industry across the pond. Now he's ready to carve out his place in the WWE history books.
Bade has already accumulated a ton of accolades throughout his career, and I'm sure he has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. The big, strong boy has all the skills and ambition he needs to be a serious threat to any opponent. And Ray was just prevented from kickstarting that motor of his. No way! Oh. Suicide dive! Risking it all and able to connect like a holy missile. And how should Rey Mysterio approach this challenge, Corey? Same way he does all of them. Go, go, go. Rey has possibly the best motor in WWE history. If he kicks things into high gear early, his opponent will be stuck in the dust. Come on, let's go, keep him coming. Crank in the head. Able to get out of the way. Hooked up and boom, back drop, suplex. On a high angle, right across the shoulders. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. His shoulders are down. And he manages to kick out in one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. And targeting the leg there. Kick right to the back of the leg. He's starting to struggle here. Slugging it out toe to toe now. He's turning the tables. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Slugging away with everything they've got. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh, WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. for yourself as well. Big strong boy doing big strong boy things. Just pure compact power from the first ever United Kingdom champion. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. What a counter. Mysterio is going to look to press on the advantage. The U-turn Mysterio needed in this match. Could have been that right there. And a kick out at only one. There is no quit in this man tonight. Ooh, a sharp kick. Bane cuts him off. Ah, look at this. Taking out the arm, great strategy. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Picture perfect drop kick. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that... Bate with a kick to the gut, double under. Tyler Driver, 97. Does that finish Ray off? Kicks out, just kicked out. I absolutely thought it was three, but you can never count Ray out. We all thought it was over. Everyone but Mysterio, that is. And you gotta think that all the plans are out the window after that. Sent to the outside. Looking for his next form of attack. Oh, he fights bait back. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Great athleticism. Trademark energy. Ray is looking great here. His unmatched motor on display right now. Destroyer! And deep into this match, Bate is taking on more unwelcome damage. Yeah, this is where Bate's resiliency gets put to the test. And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event, that they are on top of the mountain here. 
Big time confidence leading to big time matches. I love it. Lift off. Right on point with the frog splash from Mysterio. Ray got it. Ray got it. He's still in this fight. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Mysterio is almost impressed right now. His opponent is showing just as much heart tonight. Bulldog. Tyler Bain in a state of distress. Mysterio seizing every opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. <laughs> Bedlam turning the tables there. A little rope assistance. Very effective. Picture perfect drop kick. Oh, driving the elbow. He's heading up top. Thinking big. He's got him in the crosshairs. Up high. Cross body from the top. Uh-oh. Fought off with an elbow. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Taking this match off the mat now. Going for it again. Frog splash! Can Bate recover from that? Two. He put it away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner. for Rey Mysterio. There was nothing underdog about that performance from Mysterio. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. One of the most dominant and decorated teams in the world. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. The most dominant club in the world, marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. They already look mean, now they just need the green. They make short work of their opponents and head right to the pay window. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, I am pumped for this guy. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 228 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix World Heavyweight Champion, NJPW. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Hey, Corey, can this guy change his defense into offense to neutralize AJ's explosive attacks? While it's a solid game plan, it's much easier in theory than it is in execution. This guy could be in for a long, long night. You gotta love seeing the champ in action here. Well, his title isn't on the line, I'm sure his pride is. Yeah, Michael, and the champ might be using this as an opportunity to prepare for any future title matches. This could do it! He narrowly avoids the count. He really thought that was it. Here it comes. Neckbreaker! Answering back! Moonsault. In your mind, Corey, what is the key to getting the better of a veteran like AJ Styles in a matchup like this? Well, you can't allow AJ to find his offensive rhythm. Not many guys can string together chains of impactful attacks like AJ can do. So focus on cutting him off when possible and limiting his ability to find a flow. Oh, what a kick. Oh, perfect kick. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, a lot of drive behind that one from Styles. Spin kick to the midsection. Getting carried around. Back spot to be in. Ooh, right to the throat. He thinks he has it. No, shoulders up at two. That was a long two count there. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Crashing hard onto the floor! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Two. Ah, look at this. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. AJ Styles rolls through. There's the cap crusher. Can you imagine what he would do to his confidence? Are you kidding oh, me? An elbow, what a counter. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Ooh, elbow strike. Dodges the attack just a smidge. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles clash. Will it pay off for Styles? Makes a cover. in the world. He knows how to avoid contact. He deflects it right back. Neck breaker. Arm drag. Very nice. Knee right to 
the gut. He's getting a little batter now. Superstar is feeling it. Uh oh. He may get the three count right here. I think so. AJ Styles gets a huge win. Here is your winner. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. And here they come. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 462 pounds. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. They're here! And their opponents at a combined weight of 506 pounds. If you looked up tag team wrestling in the dictionary, these two would be the definition. Absolute masters at the tag team craft.
boy, here we go. Tag team matchup underway. There is a tremendous amount of trust that goes with being a tag team. Your future is not only in your hands, but in the hands of your partner as well. That's something to keep in mind during this one. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. He takes control. Toss down. He's got the shoulders down. He kicks out before two. Yeah, this early, no chance. Looking wobbly in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Oh, impactful slam. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Tag is good. Oh, right to the body. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Knife edge chop. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Reaches his partner for the tag. Counter. And now there's an opening. And he sends him into the corner. Picking them up. Marching across the ring and into the corner. And again. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Hooked. In off the tag. Vicious right forearm. He's returning fire. Punch right to the face. Oh, Thunder Valley. He wasn't tough enough contending with one. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. All right now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. Oh, that's hot. Will this be enough? Whoa. Oh, he kicked out. This could be a tipping point in this match. Boom, a forearm smack. Snap suplex. Oh, impressive counter. Stiff shove that creates separation. Maybe get something else going. He's one step ahead there. Oh my God. He's got him down. Is this it? No, he kicks out. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh, side coming. What a punch. Oh, what a close line. Placing them into the corner. Powering up their opponent all the way across the ring. That is a lot of ground to cover. And they're not finished yet. Spine first again. No other way to say it, guys. That looked like it hurt a lot. Look at the body shots left and right. Tag is registered. Oh, a knee. Lights out. He fends off the attack. Running power slam. Into the pin attack. Kick out at one. He's far from finished. There's a tag. A tag made. Oh, man. Tandem offense in effect. A good team knows how to truly work as one. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Oh, 
just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. He turns it around. Spinning side slam. This match grinded him down a little. Play stomp to the arm. Partner tags in. Kneecap goes right into the face to halt the attack. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. How's that for a counter? Precarious position for both superstars. Oh gosh. A back suplex right out of the apron. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Put in a position now. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. The superstar blowing their opponent. Look at this, from corner to corner. And again. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, just bounce that face like a basketball. Gets him with the counter. What a forearm. Oh, and a forearm smash. Slips out of the way. Watch this Herculean power into a back suplex. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Tag me. What's in store here? We're gonna take a trip, Saxton. Oh, Thunder Valley. Can he put this one away? Ooh, harsh kick. Somehow, these superstars just keep upping the ante. And yeah, no one is backing down now, not after everything they've been through. Into the corner. This can't be good. Face first. Now he's been put on the defensive. Saw that one coming. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Stop Cole with the move. Oh, what a headbutt. Time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Cut him right the jump. Tag made here. What are we gonna see? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Thunder Valley. The opening is there for the taking. An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.
The undeniable attraction of this industry. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bobby Heenan from Grenoble, France. Weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. The immovable object of WWE. It doesn't matter what generation, what era, there is only one Andre the Giant. Make way for the anvil and his opponent. Representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. A multiple time tag team champion, WWE Hall of Famer, and the father of the one and only Natalia. He cannot be frozen in awe. Must be prepared to slay the giant. It's time to come hungry and leave no man untested. Jim, the anvil, Nightheart is here. Dominating strength, one of the greatest powerhouses in the history of this business. A multi-time champion and a WWE Hall of Famer. Grit your teeth because the anvil packs a punch that's almost as big as his personality. A true legend of the ring in action here tonight. Well, I hope he created a book of backup plans and has it memorized for dealing with Andre the Giant. I have a feeling the first dozen or so will not work. That's if he even makes it past the second plan, Byron. It's almost impossible to prepare a battle plan against Andre. Grabbing a hold of the arm. That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Counters that. Andre counters. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Showing some extra scout. Oh, bear hugs. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Ready down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Looking 
getting worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Solely focused on in the corner. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. He's taking... Jim the Ambo Nightmark. Tremendous power and nice power slam. Andre is in big, big trouble. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. Oh, wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. And he has an answer for Neidhart. And Neidhart dodges that one. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Was ready for that. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Snake eyes! Good night. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Piercing. Boom! And a big boot. Does he have him here? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Ooh! Turned it into an arm drag. Shoulders down. Jim the Anvil Neidhart with the victory. Here is your winner, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Tonight, Andre the Giant was struck down. Mark your calendars, gentlemen. We just witnessed a giant be toppled in front of our very eyes. Brothers of Destruction. What started as a bitter sibling rivalry has turned into a dominant tag team. Maybe the most dominant tag team we've ever seen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 632 pounds, The Undertaker and Kane, the Brothers of Destruction. The Brothers of Destruction have more than lived up to their name. Multiple tag team titles, multiple world champions individually for Kane and The Undertaker.
The only thing scarier than these two clashing is these two teaming. Both of these monsters, former WWE champions, have held multiple tag team titles together. And perhaps the most powerful duo in WWE history. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goose bump inducing the awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And their opponents, first from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Long, harrowing walk to the ring by the Phenom. The personification of evil. Such an ominous and chilling aura when The Undertaker comes to town. This is always his stage. It's always his yard. And if you're his opponent, you know the end is near. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. Looking as ornery and mean as ever. And from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's been through spinal surgery, dealt with knee injuries, and yet Stone Cold looks as unstoppable as ever. They call him the bionic redneck for a reason. A cyborg hell-bent on delivering a whooping to his opponents. Yeah, you would think all of that would have made Stone Cold seem less bulletproof, but I think it only made him meaner and tougher.
know about you guys, but I can't think of a tag team as feared as the Brothers of Destruction. Hell hath no fury like The Undertaker and Kane. Well, I, for one, certainly wouldn't want to be standing across from him right now. While sporadic at times, Taker and Kane have been one of the most destructive duos to ever walk in the WWE. Great rivals and even better teammates. I don't know how you can prepare to face the Brothers of Destruction. Gentlemen, I think you'd agree that there's nothing quite like the crowd we have here tonight in Paris, France. Using the elbow to escape the attack. He's able to fend off the attack. Sent into the corner. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Shoulders down. Not yet. Wow, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah, on the throat in the corner. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Alley-oop! <laughs> Planning on what to do next. Oh, right to the throat. Oof. Taker got busted up by that last attack. Good God, that's devastating. What's going to happen here? Nice breaker. He's tagging out. See the frustration starting to build. He's still in this. Spinebuster! Uh-oh. Veteran instincts from Austin. Inverted atomic drop. I've always said it, best pure striker in the history of WWE. Ouch. Best pure striker in the history of WWE. So ruthless. Placed in the corner, fighting back with a counter. Fights back against Stone Cold. The communication between these two is evident by that move. So Cole avoids the attack. Back body drop. Completely disregarding their size disparity. Insane power there. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, close line. in your arm. He got whipped into that corner. It was tossed. She get airline miles for that. He's absorbed some damage already. Hellacious offense delivered by Kane. Punching their way out of that one. Big punch finds its mark. Like that will leave you in bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Tag made. What are we going to see? Oh, oh, man. What a back body drop. For the record. 
record, Saxton. You and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Austin might be stumbling into the dark hands of the Reaper. The dead man has him up. And down with the tombstone. That's it. Austin is out. Set up in the corner of the ring. And Austin fends him off. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. A snap mayor. Able to parry that one. And full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. Look what he's got here. Good God, here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. Kicking out in time. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Was ready for Undertaker. Incoming. Big time power bomb. Comes in off the tag. There he goes, right into the corner. He's absorbing some tough hits now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Go on, big back body drop. Austin just stomping away. Yes, tag. Hoisted up, back suplex delivered. Oh! What a hot shot! It's an all the way to the outside. And Kane channeling his energy here. Three, four. He switches it back around. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Compromised position here. Boom, impact. Cat may be imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Oh, man, by the skin of his teeth. Gee, what a way to make us sweat. Spybuster! Solely focused on, ooh! Even Kane can't shrug off that hard-hitting offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. Right, right on their face. Play it possum! Whoa, play it possum! No, he gets the shoulder up. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Absolute power with the vertical suplex. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this, this big match feel. The Undertaker is tagged in. Oh. 
The Undertaker completely controlling his opponent. Delivers snake eyes. And look out. Big boot by the Taker. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, right to the body. Oh, Kane waylays him. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. Tag made here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Kane stamping an end to this. Makes the cover. He keeps his team in the match. And he's got him by the neck. Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming. Got an elbow for their trouble. Oh, brutal form. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Clean tag for his partner. Oh, turned it into a rocking hit. into the corner. Uh-oh, uh -oh. And this has got to be it! And Undertaker barely escapes the pin. The muscle memory's got to be taken over now. Pure instinct to kick out before three. Tagged in. Kane needs to get his wits about him fast. Austin, Austin hits the star. Could Kane ride back up? Draped across the top rope. He's going for the pin. This could be it. But uh, teammate makes the save. And just in time. And look at Kane now. Perching himself up top. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Kane gets that set right back to him. is the one to put this one away for the team. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.
Get ready for the whole damn show. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. From ECW standout to WWE legend, one of the most unique athletes sports entertainment has ever known. From the underground to superstardom, Rob Van Dam is truly the whole damn show. A class is in session. A man who has held countless championships in his career. A truly all-time great of the grappling game. And his opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, William Regal. I'll tell you, the entire career of William Regal has been predicated on commanding respect, whether it's in the ring as a competitor, or whether serving as general manager for Monday Night Raw or NXT. And you're right, Byron, that William Regal forces his opponents to show him the respect that he believes he deserves. One of the masters of the mat, a true villain and a student of our sport, William Regal. He thinks he has it. No, a kick out. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Avoiding contact. An elbow will break that up. He got whipped into that corner. Monkey flip! He gets an emphatic kick out. Looks like it's going to take much. Ow! Big knee to the midsection. Return fire from Regal. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Ooh, Van Dam avoids contact. Arm drag provides an escape. Out. Oh man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. William Regal there meeting an obstacle to overcome. Some truly one of a kind offense from RVD. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Beautiful arm ringer applied. Look out! If you want to defeat an agile superstar like Rob Van Dam, there's really only one way to do it. Keep RVD down with constant offense. You can't give him any room to maneuver. I have to agree, Corey. The fewer offensive options Van Dam has, the less threatening he is as an opponent. Wards off that offense from Regal. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And now gets tossed into the ring. Two. Oh, what a clothesline. RVD up the turnbuckles. with a kick. 
Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Able to reverse that one. completely cuts them up. RBD bringing down his opponent with a series of close lines. Sliding out of the whip, cover! And it's Rob Van Dam to get the win. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam! Tonight's winner is Rob Van Dam. Damn! The smile on RBD's face tells the story. This is a good night indeed.